What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and we're up with a very brightly coloured buy it and try it haul video today. We've got some lovely enamel dots from Pink Fresh Studio, as well as these delicious sun-kissed journaling cards from Coco Vanilla. Very excited to open up these because I'm a sucker for a lovely square-cornered journaling card. I've got these chipboard stickers from Pink Fresh Some Days, and they're, like I said in the last uh, Bite and Try It video, they're the perfect Goldilocks thickness of chipboard. They're just right, not too thick, not too thin. I also have these, I was going to call them thickers, but they're not thickers, they're title words, puffy, puff words, puffy words, we'll call them, uh, from Pink Fresh. And then these beautifully brightly colored Amy Tan stickers. Uh, from a recent collection of hers and we're documenting summer which is why I wanted to grab all of the fun bright colored things and we're also tackling this page protector now you peeps know if we've been on this journey for a while unless you're a new subscriber this year if you are hello welcome welcome to 2022 welcome to inky land full of tangents and made up words <laughs> if you are new uh, welcome but be prepared for tangents these these voiceovers are probably not like other voiceovers out there we, we go on adventures uh, but first up let's chat this page protector now we used it before in a recent when I say recent I mean in the the last like 10 bite and try it videos we've, we've used one of these page protectors and I really have a love-hate relationship with them because in my mind I think because because I've done Project Life since 2013 now, and wow, 2013, that's a lot of years. Um, because I've done Project Life for that long, in my head, the three by four journaling cards are cemented as vertical. And it's just because I, I've used predominantly Design A page protectors, and that's the configuration that they have. So when I do these sideways ones, I feel a bit wonky and I don't know it's like when you do something with your left hand if you're predominantly right-handed or vice versa it just feels clunky and not right <laughs> um, so I do sometimes struggle with these ones but I've really made it my goal to use my supply of page protectors because I have so many of these packs that I bought uh, initially when I started Project Life you know 10 or eight, nine years ago, whenever that was, uh, of these mixed page protector sleeves. And yeah, I need to use them because I have like 20 of these, this style, and um, I need them in my album. So it's got to get used to it, Adele. All right, next up. Oh, I struggle with this one a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I struggled with these words in this process video because I felt like a lot of them were quite large and a lot of the phrases that I wanted to use weren't the colors that I wished that they were. So I do start by sticking down this right now, um, but we'll see, you'll see where it goes. I should add in that previous card that I just completely rambled over the top of and didn't say exactly what I was doing, all I did was cut um, another journaling card down to down a third so that it would fit um, because like I've mentioned, I think I actually mentioned it in the previous bite and try video. We don't do beach very often. We don't, you know, we do go outside. We go outside every weekend and we've been going for walks every afternoon, but we're not, I'm not anyway, an outdoor lover. Uh, and so whenever we have beach photos, I try to use beach themed things. And so I thought it was a good way to use up that little filler card on the previous journaling card we did um, with all of the pictures of the swimmers and all of the cozies and uh, sunglasses might have been on there too. So I'm trying to make this work. I, um, I'm i trying to figure out if if I like this or if it doesn't, doesn't work. I've got tappy fingers and flicking my pen. That's when you know I'm frustrated and I'm like, oh, should I just completely scrap it? Uh, and then I'm like, hang on, what if we took the word off? And I tried to work with it from there. I just felt like the word was too, was just too large and um, awkward for that space. 
And so here I am undoing all of the things I did. Now I could have cut that part out and just started the journaling card from here. Um, but I wanted you to see the, the thought process and the journey uh, and know that, you know, sometimes your first intent, intention for um, a scrapbooking page it doesn't always go to plan and that's that's all good you, you learn from it and then you stick and plonk something else and you can like I always say you can always cover it up with something else or peel it off and try again uh, so I've got these little uh, stickers they were from a recent buy it and try it video they're from Heidi Swap and I'm just popping down the definitions of chill and enjoy because we were definitely doing that this day and like I said before I just feel very clunky and I find it difficult to bust out a horizontally or a landscape I should say a landscape positioned three by four journaling card it just feels backwards or upside down it just doesn't feel right so I think that's why I struggled a bit with that one and I will admit at this point, my confidence was a bit knocked. I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if I can do this video, uh, which I don't often do. And I was going to give up and go have lunch um, or chocolate or something <laughs> to, to break up the, the video a bit. But I decided to, to keep going with it. Uh, and I scrapped the other cards for now and I decided to go with one of these photos instead um, I thought that might you know help spark me some energy to continue with the rest of this page so these photos were taken I think at the start of 2020 in January because Violet's a wee little baby here and I love the way that I moved this down in a moment I just got a bit out of camera out of um, frame there but I love the way that the word that I put um, up the top the enjoy it kind of uh, frames in the, are they paragliders, surfer gliders, wind gliders, wind sailing, para sailing gliders, the, the peeps that use the parachutes that go in the air while they're on the water, those guys, it perfectly uh, framed them and um, Archie was gazing off at them in the distance so I thought that worked out well. I've got this little sticker from that Amy Tan sheet and Again, I've got another filler card to do. So I use this page protector because I had three uh, vertical four by sixes, or portrait style, sorry. Uh, and I didn't want to create layouts for them and they wouldn't have fit in a normal design A page protector. And so I didn't actually have any photos for the three by four pockets, which is a challenge all in itself, let alone when they're not the uh, orientation that you usually scrap in. And so I had to create several uh, filler cards here, which I usually, filler cards are my jam. I usually love them. They're my thing. Um, but I was just, I was taking my time with these. They weren't coming as easy as they usually do. I think by adding these black definition uh, stickers, it really, oh, and my pen is on the fritz too. Just ignore my, my dodgy pen. Um, I think by adding these black definitions, it helped ground all of the multicolors that are going on at the moment. Um, there was a lot going on on these uh, cards. There was a whole lot of patterns and embellishments and all sorts of colors. And so I think that it did help Kind of just contrast a bit and make the page a bit calmer well as calm as it can be when it's splattered with embellishments everywhere as most of my pages are i'm adding in just a few little black hearts here doodled in i've been really enjoying just doodling a few little hearts in uh, a it's easy b it doesn't use up my tiny sprinkly stash and see, I can exactly control how big they are, which is very fun. I was using a fountain pen then because my other pens were on the fritz. And uh, the pen that I used is, I feel like it's called a preppy. Um, is it pilot, pilot preppy or a Pentel preppy? Could be a pilot, I think. Um, but it's a very cheap fountain pen that I have been playing around with um, in several Patreon videos last year. And I did a whole big pen haul and experiment. 
and it is a lovely fountain pen if you're in the market for a um, trying them out I've never tried them out before and I think it was only about $13 or so um, if I can remember the name I'll pop it in the description um, down below but it's a nice one so the next up we've got this little Shmiley photo of Arch and I just wanted to add a few little embellishments here because I was in full stick and plonk mode by now I was gaining my confidence back uh, and I feel like if you ever get to uh, well, for me, if I ever get to a stage in a page where I feel, you know, we all we get to that stage sometimes where it kind of reaches the ugly point or the awkward point and we're like, Ugh, I don't know if I like this. Do something that you know you absolutely like. So for me, plonking things on photos is my happy place. I love to embellish photos. And so I gave the filler cards a bit of a break for 10 15 minutes while I did some photo plonking and it really did kind of renew my energy for the page and kind of brightened my spark a little bit um, this next one I needed to have a break from the filler cards with some journaling so I just stuck a little sticker in the corner there because we sure were having fun in the sun and um, of course this is pre pandemic so this is early early 2020 um, where we were still frolicking in the sunshine happily and then I'm doing another little journaling card obviously I've sped this up supersonically fast so that you don't need to see me write everything at snail's pace and then why not stick some more things on photos because that's what we do best <laughs> um, again adding as many sunshiny outdoorsy type words uh, and leaving the generic ones, you know, like the good vibes and the happy days, leaving those for perhaps photos that might have been taken indoors or, um, you know, not at the beach um, and trying to use up the themed ones first. And now, just hands, we're done. And I think I really love the way this page looked and I even left one of the cards just as is. And I think that was a good trick to get past um, my blockage in making these landscape orientation uh, filler cards. So I hope you've enjoyed this video peeps and don't forget there's a video every single week in January over on this channel and my Let's Get Inky channel and I'll see you all next week for some more fun. Bye!